वी आर नाउ ऑन स्टेप फाइव कस्टमर शॉपिंग कार्ट विद कुकीज बेसिकली वी विल बी मेंटेनिंग आर शॉपिंग कार्ट विद दी हेल्प ऑफ कुकीज बिकॉज ए शॉपिंग कार्ट इज टेम्पोरेरी एंड वंस द कस्टमर पेज देन दिस शॉपिंग कार्ट विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू द डेटा बेस दिस इज द होल पॉइंट दैट वी शेल बी डूइंग सो दिस इज द होम पेज ऑफ द कस्टमर हेयर एड आइटम्स एंड इनवाइसिस दिस बटन्स विल बी एडिड एंड वंस ही क्लिक्स दिस बटन ही इज टेकन टू द स्कैन बार कोड एंड वंस ही गेट्स द स्कैन बार कोड द आइटम इज एडिड टू द शॉपिंग कार्ट दिस शॉपिंग कार्ट इज एंटायरली मेनटेन्ड इन कुकीज there is a delete button there is an edit edit button also so this is the target of today's tutorial you can learn with me as you walk the source code till now is attached as a download you can obtain it and examine it and now let's go direct to the visual studio so this is the visual studio project that we have completed so far this is in your downloads also so what we are going to do is this is the areas and inside areas today we are going to complete the user pages and here we will add a cart this cart is meant for storing the product chosen by the customer in cookies so let me start by explaining the various parts this is a class called shopping cart it contains a list of products selected by the user this is the constructor and in the constructor an http request comes because this request will be used to access the cookies and request dot cookies dot try get value if the cart already contains certain items then the json string because cookies will be storing the shopping cart in the form of a json string the json already existing can be obtained and cart items this item will be populated on the basis of this json if string dot is null or white space that is if no shopping cart existed in this case this will be null and otherwise deserializer will deserialize the json into product and this double question mark means that if this item is null then in that case this constructor will create an empty list of products an empty shopping cart will be created so precisely in the constructor we are obtaining the shopping cart from the cookie cookie is called underscore cart and if the there is not no cart then we are creating a new empty shopping cart for us a new empty list of products for us and there we have a accessor this cart items is a property that returns the list of cart items and this public function gives you cart item by barcode so cart items dot single or default so we are getting the cart item by barcode and next we have an insert item function to add a product to the shopping cart all these are expected functions insert item you get a product as a parameter a response to write the cookie so cart item you first of all extract the cart item by barcode when you insert an item to the shopping cart the item might already be present in the shopping cart so in that case we are just going to add the quantity if there was a item in the shopping cart is not null in that case we just increment the quantity otherwise we add this product to the shopping cart so basically this is an add or update story and in the cookies we are writing to the cookie by serializing this shopping cart this list of products and let's have a look at this part this is a cookie option which says that the shopping cart is maintained for uh, 60 days because customers keep arriving in between also and after this insert item basically i'll say that was an insert or update and now here it is an update item which is which is now a uh, carrying an array of barcode and quantity sometimes you need to update so many items that you know the barcode and their quantity this is the updated quantity and this is the list of barcodes that is we are obtaining and here we say if items uh, we run an array over the incoming items extract the item of the array this function wa will be required at some place in the code i am no god who can predict everything this software is already developed 
so during the development this i this function was required and therefore this params is coming because of that requirement multiple items have to be updated and now a for loop on the incoming array it extracts a particular item gets the cart item and sets the quantity it updates the quantity this is basically an update a replacement this function is most probably called during the edit operation that we can discuss we will discuss in the next tutorial and after this the cookie is appended the cookie is created the whole list is added to the shopping cart and this is again a function for removing an item a list of barcodes for bulk deletion so we obtain the barcode get the cart item remove and again serialize back so these are nothing but create replace update operations 